Hey everyone, today I'm going to be opening up the EV Collector's 10. Now I thought this was a Costco exclusive uh, that I believe came with two Pokeball 10s as well. This one was already slit, that's why I'm opening it up this way. Um, but I found this at Target today. I actually found two of them. The other one did not have any tearing or anything like that on it. So for the time being, I'm going to keep it sealed. Knowing me, I'm a child when it comes to opening up packs, so I will probably end up opening it up on camera at some point. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to build a sealed collection in general. Oh, this one actually comes with a Crobat. Crobat's actually one of my favorites. It's out there. That's pretty cool. Little Crobat pin. And we have the, oh, it's the little Cosmos foil. I can't talk today, Floil, foil. Oh, good Lord. And that's gonna be, well, let's see. Did they fix the, oh, okay. So they did, looks like they changed it up a little bit to get the actual promos out. Oh no, they didn't, because it's still got the little lips. Ah. Uh, all right, that's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt to try to get out later. So I'll have to take some scissors to that and see if I can get them without, without causing any damage. But I was about to say, I saw this little lip and I was like, oh, did they make it to where they could you just pop it out? But I guess not. So I tried to look online to see what packs this contained. It did say five packs. I didn't know exactly what. Uh, let's see what else is in here. We have some little stickers. I don't really care about those. We got a little notepad. I will actually use this. I like to make notes for myself because I can't think or remember stuff half the time. And we have a little little mini uh, card thing to carry a few cards. And I might end up giving this to my nephew. So, and then the box, There's nothing in here. I actually debated on keeping these. Uh, my grandmother was like, why don't you give these to like Goodwill uh, or give these to people? Cause they are technically lunch boxes, but I might see if my brother wants them for my nephew to take to school as well, but we'll see since I've got two of them now. Anywho, uh, what I'm really here for is the actual packs that are included. Now let's see what we have. There's a little code called card for y'all if you want it. And then we have, let's see. So two packs of Chilling Rain, Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, and Vivid Voltage. So I need to pan this down a little bit. Let's see what we get. I'm going to start off with Vivid Voltage. That's probably my favorite one between all of them. I have actually pulled two of the Rainbow Chews over the course of the last year. I did end up selling both of them. Um, I don't really care too much about it. I do, in a way, kind of regret it because it was fun. And I did open up a ton of packs just to see what we would get. Or what I would get, rather. And there's the code card for y'all. And what is it? Is it three or four to the back? Let's try three as just in case precaution. So we got Laldrin, Memory Capsule, Go Goat, Charmander, Wooper, Meowth, Cottony, Aracuda, Oshawott, and Terrakian. So it is four to the front. But it's okay. Didn't get anything impressive out of that, so off to the next one. So we'll start off with Sword and Shield, or go next to Sword and Shield. And I'm hoping... Actually, they do have the gold cards. This is the only set that I've actually seen recently that they've had in stock around me. Although, well, rather, the Elite Trainer boxes. Although, when I was at Target earlier, and my Target never has anything, they had so much... Of the Vivid Voltage, like, single packs. I almost just bought a bunch of those, but I know there is still a limit. So, there is the code card for y'all. And let's do one, two, three, four for giggles. Okay, so it is four. All right, so we have Water Energy, Sea King, Lanoon, Hitmonchan, Rhyhorn, Sobble, Grookey, Wooloo, Sizzlipede, Score Bunny, and Thievul. Still no hollow so far. I was hoping to get at least something. This is one of the reasons why I stopped opening up Modern and started uh, just straight up buying the cards that I wanted or started going more towards Vintage. Mainly because I have the, other than the Rainbow Chews, I have absolutely terrible luck when it comes to opening up uh, Modern packs. Oh, so we do have a white coat card. So there you go. And 
and one, two, three, and four, I think, still. All right, so enter, oh, so we do have something on the back. All right, energy, heat more, I like that. Phantom, Farfetch'd, Scovit, Mr. Mime. This is the Galarian version. I like this one way better. I actually like, I love Mr. Rhyme. I think it's such a cool evolution. Caterpie, Luxio, and, oh shoot. Malamar V Max. Okay. Um, I was not expecting that at all. And it looks actually, uh, well, darn, man. It was looking so clean. There is this slight little, I don't know if that's an indent or just something. Darn. Yeah, it's a little scratch or indent. Still cool to have, but man, that sucks. I do like the rainbow rares. Uh, I have quite a few in my grading pile to eventually send off for bulk. Nothing that's too fancy, just stuff that I, I enjoy. Man, I wish that wasn't dinged up. Because the centering, well, eh, the centering isn't too, too bad on it. But still, dang, man. Nonetheless, I'll probably end up just reselling this. Uh, it probably will sell for cheap, so... We'll see what happens, but we'll put that right there on Charizard's stomach. Now, Chilling Pain. I've been lucky enough to pull some of the alt arts out of this. I pulled the main ones that I wanted, which was the mainly the Blaziken. Uh, and we get kind of spoiled it. Well, there's the green code card. So there you go. And let's do this. Two, three, four. Water. Porygon, Heat More, Red Boot. Who's that by? No, it's not. I'm a big Kamiya fan, so I kind of stop and start to collect the actual Kamiyas. Clavopus, Marie Maraltz, Crushing Gloves, and Volcarona, so nothing there. Darn, man, <laughs> I'm still butthurt over that. Man, that's like the first like actual rainbow that I pulled in a little bit, and uh, darn. It could be far worse. I pulled the, what was it, the Burning Shadows... Uh, the Rainbow Marsh Shadow and Rainbow Gyarados, and both of them, the Marsh Shadow was literally torn to pieces. I mean, literally torn to pieces. And the Gyarados had, like, this huge indent on it. Alright, so there's the code card. I feel like I saw something, I don't know. Two, three, four. Please don't tell me I messed up. Okay. Energy, Fog Crystal, Thwacky. Adarim, Blitzel, Quillfish, Slowpoke, Weedle, Clobopus, Cast Form, and Runrigus. This is actually one of the few hollows that I actually really like. Normally I don't like um, this hollow pattern, but for some reason on this one I enjoy it. Uh, I really don't want to, but I kind of also want to... Ah, screw it. I'll just open up the other one. I'm a little annoyed and salty that the uh, the first one <laughs> got that. So let's see. Let me grab this. I can always find these. They're they're still pretty cheap. They're like twenty five bucks a piece or something like that. All right. Hoping I can get enough bulk. Like I did eventually, like I did a few weeks ago that back where I can trade in a lot of it to get some free, some, well, free stuff by trading in. I've done stuff trading into, um, you know, Papa Bla Blastoise and, and Danny Phantom at Pokemon Coliseum. But I spent about three hours the other week and that's, this is actually what paid for me to get the little, um... Nightfall booster box is I had spent about three or four hours sorting through bulk and actually picking through the cards that were also, I guess, playable, in which that Troll and Toad... Now, I've had my rants about Troll and Toad. I will say I do like selling bulk to, bulk to them compared to other people, but uh, I was able to pick through and see which ones were playable and which ones they had on their buy list to get some extra... Uh, money out of them and that's actually what it paid for my nightfall booster box originally so in hindsight 
eventually I could probably do the same when it comes to uh, more of my Pokemon singles. That said, I don't know if they accept MetaZoo bulk yet. Maybe in the future. Oh, there you go. And we have our code card. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start off with Reg Rebel Clash this time. I can't talk today, man. That's what I get. I just got back from the gym, got a shower, and I am completely spent. My chubby self does not do well in the gym. All right. There we go. All right. I think we kind of, I think I already realized that there's nothing on the back, but we'll see for the for giggles. Energy, dual blade, lombre, hyderim, wingle, coughing, bronzor, toxel, litwick, barbacol, and sigilif. All right. Oh come on, give me something good, man. Ah, uh, all right. I love this artwork. Here's the code card. Four, yeah. Oof, whatever's on the back, it's got a little dent right there. And this is why I stopped opening up Pokemon stuff, man. But, uh, Energy, Doctor, Celio, Fiona, Slowpoke, Weedle, Clopopus, Mareep, Ralts, Aaron, and Bayonet. Well, at least there was nothing on the back. I guess that's the only positive part of that. Um, let's go with Sword and Shield. Maybe I'll get lucky again and pull something. But yeah, it's kind of weird. I've, I've been seeing also a lot of Fusion Strike related products still on the shelves. I'm assuming that's not a very good set. I haven't really looked into it too much. I uh, didn't really care for it. The only card in it that I really want. Ooh, this one's, these are all torn up. You see that? Like, dang, man. I'll just move through them. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any Kamiya? We do have a Kamiya. All right. Something for me to add to my own little collection. I, I do have a binder of Kamiya cards. I just love the artwork, the hand-drawn. But just in case, let me check back over. Krogon, Joltik, and Seven Scorch. Okay. Man. This this kind of like solidifies why I've stopped opening up Pokemon and started moving on to MetaZoo. Because I'm like, at least I can pull stuff there. or And not even, not only pull stuff, but get like better quality, I guess, per se. It's not perfect, but it's pretty much there. There's the code card. All right, so Energy, Zipstrika, Dusclops, Dusclops, oh my gosh, Dusclops, Dusclops, Beauty, Joltik, Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Whismur, Matang, and Moment of, oh, it's stuck. Uh, oh, oh, Manitan V. I actually have the rainbow version of this car, but I never pulled the... Full art. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, how's the condition on it? It's actually not bad. Huh. It's not bad at all. I really like full arts, to be honest. Um, at first, I was meh on them, but over time, they've grown on me. Same with the rain. Well, actually, the rainbows I really enjoy, so I can't really say that, but that's not bad at all. I'll keep that, and that one's actually pretty good centering for the most part, I think. Although, maybe it's, like, slightly tilted. I don't know. I, maybe it's, Or it could just be the way I'm looking at it, but I'll check back over that one later. I do enjoy... I've been trying not to grade as many modern products, at least... I don't know. It, it doesn't include like hidden fates or something, something to that factor. But 
I do really enjoy full arts, and I've been lucky when it comes to the most of the full arts that I have graded thus far have come back nines and tens. I have not gotten one that's gone below an eight, luckily. So we'll see what happens. And we got the code card. All right, energy, world of peed, crushing gloves, honey, deerling, sneasel, far fetched. I actually have the square cut of this. Burfro, ventipede, Porygon, and Glade. I do actually wish this one was a hollow because the artwork on it is awesome. I think they could have. Well, I know they do the the striped hollow, but if they could have actually made it to where the flowers and stuff would have like been more of a hollow, I guess. I don't know. I think that would have looked really, really good. But anywho, that's my failure of two of these, op you know, little chest openings. And um, I actually had looked online and it, people were saying that these these actually had cosmic, 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 oh my gosh, cosmic eclipse packs in them. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to open it. But I guess that's confirmation that they don't. So at least from my side, but on the positive part, as bad as this is, uh, at least I got another Comia card to add to the collection, so that works for me. And also, these two guys, even though there's like a Nick or something, I'll probably end up just selling this one, but I'll, I'll keep this one. Or I might just make a rainbow binder at some point with these. I do have quite a few of them that I don't know if I'm going to grade. A lot of those are from the Sun and Moon era, I believe, and I got them from like... Uh, this guy wanted to sell them for like a bulk lot almost in a way. I think it was like nine of them in total or something. And I think I paid probably five to ten bucks a piece depending on what they were. And all of them are pretty mint condition. But in the same sense, I don't know if I want to grade them because I don't think they would like have a return. For example, uh, was it Gush? Uh, shoot, the little ferret that looks like Donald Trump. I'm blanking on the name. Um, but he's one of the, he's an example of one that I'm, or, and also the rainbow copper jaw as well. So those, I'm not certain if they would actually, you know, do well when it comes to grading and then reselling afterwards, but I'm more of a PSA collector. So that's probably why I'm looking at it from that perspective. Also, I'm a fan of, or I'm a fan of doing this, but also how I fund my own collection is by grading, reselling, or flipping specific cards. So, yeah. Anywho, thanks for listening to my ramble. Um, hope you all have a nice night.